Here we have another lovely geometric demonstration of Pythagoras' theorem. What we've got in the middle here is our right angle triangle. And we've marked on the hypotenuse, H, and the other two sides, A and B. We've also drawn in the squares representing each side. So here's the square of the hypotenuse, here's the square of side A, and here's the square of side B. And what we want to show is Pythagoras' theorem that the square of the hypotenuse is equal to the sum of the squares of the other two sides. Now to do this, we need to cut the square representing side B in a special way. We make one cut, which is parallel to the hypotenuse, and one cut, which is perpendicular to the hypotenuse. And if you do that, then you should always be able to rearrange the pieces like this. We can take this piece and place it there. This piece, place it there. This piece, and place it here. And that one there. And you'll always be left with a square, which fits the square of side A perfectly. So what we've shown here is that the square of the hypotenuse is equal to the sum of the squares of the other two sides. And that's Pythagoras' theorem. If you like this resource and would like to use it in your own lessons, then please visit www.echalk.co.uk where you can find this and hundreds like it.